Stella, how are you doing this morning? She good. There's a lot of snow outside. There's a lot of snow outside. Here, let me go show you guys. So yeah, it snowed a lot last night, but in the daytime it looks a lot more. Wow, look at all that snow. Mm -hmm. So, because of the snow, me and Stella are going to stay inside all day. Um, made me walk over across the street to my parents' house, but we're not going anywhere because my windshield is on my car don't work. So, yeah, we're just going to have a fun in-house day. Um, probably do some chores, probably, probably work some on her... Um, birthday party stuff. But yeah. Can you say hi, Stella? <gasps> Stella? Can you say hi? <laughs> I hear a Stella. <gasps> Hello. <gasps> Stella? <gasps> hi. <laughs> hi, sugar baby. What are you doing? Are you so happy to be away? Are you so happy to be away? Stinky baby? Stinky baby? Are you so happy to be away? Are you ready to get out of bed? Yeah, if anybody's wondering why our sheets aren't on the bed, is because when we feed her at night, you have to hook the pump up to her, and Robert did it one night and didn't hook the pump up fully correctly, and... She didn't get fed that night. The bed got fed that night. So, they're in the wash. <laughs> Are you just having such a good time? <gasps> Stella? <laughs> Stella? Are you so happy? Are you so happy? Okay. Well, let's get her out of bed. Hi, sugar baby. Oh. Oh. Hi, sugar baby. <gasps> Can you say hi? Hi, the camera? Hi! I love you. I love you. Okay, so we made some mac and cheese. Don't judge me, I put ketchup in mine. I know, weird. But I'm letting Stella just kind of munch on some plain noodles. Um, and what we have to work on is she doesn't really like taking things from utensils because she can't see them coming. And so what we're working on is giving her a verbal cue. So we go... I guess we go. We'll wait for the cough to pass. Ready? Ready, Stella? Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. Good girl. Good girl! Just so she knows, once she hears that sound, she should be ready to open her mouth. We're still in the progress of it, so I'll do it and then touch her lips and then she'll realize to open her mouth, but that's better than she's ever taken anything from a utensil. Mmm. Mmm. Ready, Stella? Ah, ah, ah. Good girl. And she still really likes to use her hands, so, like, that one didn't make it very long in her mouth because she took it out, but, yeah. And it ended up on the ground. So, like I said, it's snowing outside, and Stella's never really been in the snow, so I'm going to get her all ready in her pink little onesie snowsuit and take her out and we're gonna go walk across the street to my dad and mom's house because uh, I'm getting lonely here. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's take your hat off. You've been such a good girl today. Did you know that? We'll see if this still fits her.
Here we have her! <gasps> Hi, sugar baby! Are you so cute? Are you so cute? Okay, well, now we gotta just make the trek. <sighs> Me too, stop. Like I said, it's like winter wonderland out here. Um, super thick. We're supposed to get like nine more inches tonight. Um, you know, we, we, we've like really coped with Stella not being able to see and all the things she wouldn't be able to see. And we've gotten used to it and you know, the idea is fine with us now. The one thing I wish she could see is snow. Just because it's like, I don't really like it, but it is so magical like when you're just out or in your house and you don't have to be out um, watching it all fall down and on the trees and whatnot. It's really beautiful and I wish she could see it, but now we're gonna go into my parents' house. So, see you when I see ya. So, we just hung out at my parents' house for a while, had some dinner, and now we're just walking home and it's still snowing and it's still a winter wonderland. Dad got home. Dad got home. Hi. Um, but it's like 10 o'clock at night and it's super bright out. I mean, you can definitely tell that it's nighttime, um, but it's still like just super bright. <laughs> yeah, Robert just made a comment that the tracks we made earlier and the tracks he just made walking over are still like, they're getting covered up super fast. So there's, I think about, how many inches already would you say? I'd say there's about, I wanna say, there's a minimum of six and we're supposed to get like a maximum of nine or ten tonight so we are having a good old time with the snow so it's been a pretty eventful morning already we um Robert got called into work early, so he had to go because no one's there. Stella's catheter looked like there was blood in it, and there was, but they say, I called the PD nurses, um, and they said that it's normal, um, and to only be concerned if there's blood coming out around the catheter, um, which is not very reassuring. I mean, it's fine, but it's not. I know, I know, I know. And then Stella threw up this morning, eating breakfast. So I called our regular nephrology nurses because this is like the fifth or sixth time she's thrown up in two days, which is not normal. Um, she hasn't thrown up like this since she was itty bitty baby with an NG tube. Um, so I don't really know what's going on with Stella right now. Um, but I would like to know. Hmm. But we're just chilling. She just really wanted to be held. She cried when I put her down, but she'll probably start crying because I'm holding her normal baby stuff, you know? So yeah. I think we're just gonna relax today and do nothing. So, with a sick baby you learn that a quiet day at home is never really a quiet day at home. We, um, just got a call. Costello's been throwing up all day. So we just got a call to go in and get her checked out and going in means going all the way to Seattle so here we go okay so like I was saying we're just going down to get her labs checked and see our doctor to just make sure everything is okay because she is kind of acting funny and throwing up and her poops are a funny color but we're gonna we're gonna meet up with mom and meet up with Robert and head there but we'll keep you posted and we're literally driving in like a winter wonderland. <sighs> okay, okay, so a little change from what I last said. We were on our way to Children's, um, but we were called and told to just go to our pediatric doctor and to have her look at Stella and to do labs. And they think that we just need to change 
her feeds a little bit because her body's just not used to it right now after surgery and whatnot. So we have to just change her feeds and do them continuous and run them slower. And then also we did labs in Bellingham at the pediatric office, doctor's office, and they were just waiting for those to come back. And those should be able to tell us if we need to go down or if we need to change something or if something's wrong with Stella's kidneys. So now we're just at home. Stella is relaxing because she's been super clingy and has not slept all day. Um, yeah. So she's just relaxing. I'm just relaxing, watching some YouTube and waiting for Rob to get home. They also gave us an anti-nausea medicine to hopefully help her not want to throw up or help her not throw up. So we'll see. We'll keep you get posted. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're definitely not where we were when we last did this, but um, Stella's labs came back not the best, and so we went to Peace Health to try, like, to get to get an IV and to get things figured out, but it just took so long, and there was other sick kids, and we were worried that Stella was going to catch that, and I've always been told that if Stella got that sickness, that like a flu sickness that we would have to be hospitalized because her kidneys are, can't handle it. What? Did you get your diet Pepsi? I thought you got it. <laughs> um, so now we're going down to children's. Here we go. Okay, so really quickly, because it's four in the morning, 4.30 in the morning, um, so we went to Children's and her potassium was still bad, um, but they're just trying to figure out what's wrong with her. So we're in, we got admitted, and we're currently in a sterile room because she's been throwing up and or throwing up and diarrhea has diarrhea. So we can't touch anything really on this floor. But um, we got our room to ourselves. What's up? Uh, let's see, all to ourselves. Um. But yeah, we're just gonna wait this out and see how this goes. It's been a really long night. I'm really tired. Stella's really tired. We still have to get an IV in. And who knows when that's gonna happen. So we're gonna get some sleep. Or try to. Yeah. Bye. It's about noonish, And my dad's getting here to hang out with me. Um, but just making the trek across the hospital to go to the cafeteria and get some food. Um, They've done really nothing but poke and prod Stella all day, and so, um, I'm exhausted and she's exhausted because she doesn't sleep, and when she doesn't sleep, I don't sleep. Um, yeah, we're just waiting, <laughs> waiting. It's, that's all we ever <laughs> really do at the hospital, is wait, but we're happy she's getting the care she needs. Um, her potassium did spike up to a 7.1, which is really, really high, but it came back down, so just waiting. <laughs> okay, just another update. So, Stella's potassium is not getting better as fast or as nicely as we would like. Um she has it's fluctu fluctuated all day um and she just it's, she's just her labs are off so what we're planning to do is start dialysis tomorrow and start our training for dialysis tomorrow um which means we'll be here for a week <laughs> how fun <laughs> um so what they're going to do tonight is they'll come in around 10-ish and get her blood drawn again to see what her potassium's like. And then they are also going to just do vitals and keep track of her. And depending on how her potassium is, maybe start her formula again. Um, that's you know, pretty much it. <laughs> um, but she... It's doing really good. Let me show you. This is Miss Stella in her nice bed attached to all her wires. Um, so she's happy as could be. Happy. She has an IV in her foot and then she has leads 
um, to watch her heart attached to her chest and her catheter and G-tube are under her skirt. Um, but yeah, she's just happy and having a good old time. Um, she is tired. She is, is irritated with people touching her and messing with her and poking her and she hates blood pressure cuffs. But she is happy. What I need to do now is change her diaper. What she is doing now is deciding now is a good time to fill her diaper. So we will we will hopefully get that out of the way without being pooped on. You know? No one wants to be pooped on. Hostel, you wouldn't like being pooped on. Uh, but our <laughs> main nephrologist came in and was, she was saying how she thought about Stella all weekend and was thinking, oh no, what if it was too early to put that catheter in? And what if it was a mistake? But it was not. Stella definitely needed the catheter put in so we could start the dialysis because we needed it. Um, she needs it. Hmm. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do tonight by myself. I did last night by myself. Nights, nights are easy to do alone. It's kind of the daytime that's a little bit harder to be alone um, because of nights you can sleep, uh, and the nurses will take care of the baby. But during the day, you have to be the one to just. I mean, normally a normal parent would be the one to take care of the baby during the day. But you're all by yourself in a ho foreign place, a hotel, or not a hotel, a hospital, and it's just not very nice. Uh, so, Robert told me, he says, because tomorrow's Valentine's Day, he says, oh, we're going to have to push back our Valentine's Day plans. And I said, what Valentine's Day plans? <laughs> we don't have any. We never have any Hasdale. Not that that's a bad thing, and that's not his fault. I also just don't plan any, and I would rather there not be any. It's, I mean, I'm always down for a date, but, like, right now it's just not the best thing for us. Okay, Stanley. Here. Lock the baby in the baby cage. So with her diapers, she's being monitored. Most babies on the floor get monitored. So what we do is we change her diapers and we put them in a bucket on the floor. So here we go. For the nurse. Yeah, so we're, Stella's gonna play and I'm going to sit and relax and hopefully get some shut eye. Stella doesn't really like that idea. She was ready to party. But yeah. Catch you on the flip side. Okay. So. Very simple. So today, um, we started our dialysis training. Um, Stella's potassium is really, really high. So is also getting started on dialysis um, to hopefully fix that um, when we we're, we're out at lunch tonight to right now with Robert's mom but as we were leaving her um, breathing was more labored um, and so we're watching that um, kind of just always feels like there's so much going on at once um, there's never an end you know Robert's with me now, so I've stayed the past two nights by myself, and Robert will stay with me for a week because we're doing dialysis training for a week. Um, Nothing like an unplanned vacation. Right? Oh yeah, happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Mm. Living the best life. before I picked up the camera. Um, it's kind of hard to film in the hospital when you're not really supposed to film nurses and doctors um, and then 
so two, it's Stella can just get really frustrated sometimes of everything that's going on. And I don't really want you guys to just sit and watch Stella cry. Um, but I just, like, I wanted to update you guys. Um, Stella last night went to the PICU um, for her heavy breathing, labored breathing, and her high blood pressures. Um, but she was on dialysis all night, and the dialysis dropped her potassium, which was at a 7.1, which is bad, down to a 4.5, which is awesome. Um, so we have amazing high hopes, amazingly high hopes for dialysis. Um, now we got moved back to the floor, or the section of the floor we were on, um, and we're just one room over from where we were and we are just relaxing. They've started giving Stella food. Um, it's running at a really slow rate, but food is food. Uh, she got to have some water, which really made her happy. Um, we got a single room again. Single room. Robert's in there showering. Um, but yeah, you can see Stella. Let's okay, so this is her. She is hooked up to a lot of wires, so like, blood pressure, oxygen, her IV is under there, um, IV, this is her food, it's hooked up to her, this is her big dialysis machine, which we aren't using right now, she's gonna be using it tonight, it'll run for 16 hours, this is Stella, she's finally just sleeping for a little bit, um, she has these stickers on both sides from when they had to put the oxygen on, but she's, other than that, happy and healthy. And we're happy and healthy. <laughs> um, the nice man in the picky, one of our nurses, noticed that it was blind and noticed she liked lights, so he found us one of these disco balls that does this to the ceiling. So we got the coolest room ever. But yeah, this is Stella, and she's happy and healthy. Okay, so they had to sit Stella back up on the catheter, um, and that's a sterile procedure, so we kind of had to, or it's a clean procedure. So we had to step out of the room just for a minute, or else we would have had to have a mask up and glove up and everything. So we just decided to go get some food. What'd you get? What did you get? Something. Uh, some kind of beef. Uh, some kind of rice. There's corn. Beans. It's, it's like a taco burrito. Mm -hmm. um, and then he's got some chips. Mmm. Oh, it's dripping. Let me put those over by you. Mm. He's got some chili. I've got some. White rice, and then I also got some chicken strips, and I'm gonna rip up the chicken strips and put them in my white rice, and it's gonna be delicious. You learn to improvise with hospital food. Okay, so. Just a little update on Stella. We just got done with our class. Um, and her heart rate, her blood pressures are still kind of high, but she's sleeping peacefully. This is probably the most peaceful she's slept all the whole time we've been here. Um, yeah, Keely's just taking a picture of her because she's so cute. Look at her little leg crossed. Um, but she has thrown up a couple times, but that's just because dialysis is filling her tummy up so much and they're also putting her feed back in there, her feed back in her, and so she's just a little full, but she's doing good. We're happy. Happy to sleep. Stella's dialysis machine is beeping. It's a bomb. It's a bomb. I know! Um, I just wanted to come on and end this week's 
vlog. Um, it's been a really he hectic week, um, and I apologize that, like, it's probably not the best, but, um, it's just been hard, a hard week for us, and it's hard to film in the whole hospital because you, you, the workers, the nurses, and doctors don't want to be on camera, and a lot of what we've been doing is just sitting down and learning how to do dialysis. Um, but Stella is getting healthier, and she is happy, so, um, why don't you guys just comment a little prayer down for Stella, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.